Anyway, so, so poison shows up. Right? And like, and then what do they have to say about the universe? Fucking whatever, right? Go away. Poison has nothing to say about the universe at all. They're just like, uh, they're just there and they're dressed up like chicks and they're just like, woo, <laughs> you know? What the fuck were they all about? Who knows, right? But, uh, but I did go and see them and, uh, and, uh, David Lee Roth at the Capitol Center. It was an awesome show. CeCe DeVille just gives his guitar to somebody in the audience. He's just like, here you go. What is that all about? Anyway. So, Poison gives way to Guns N' Roses, right? So Guns N' Roses shows up, and uh, I'll give you, like, nothing if you can tell me who this guy's supposed to be, right? Uh huh? Slash. That's Slash, right? All right, so, like, uh, so Guns N' Roses shows up, and it's Slash, and, uh, an Axel, right? And, uh, you know, they're bringing it, you know? They've got, they've got some stuff to say. Welcome to the jungle. Not, not quite, uh, so much, right? I mean, like, they're awesome, and, like, uh, their music does provide, like, a good soundtrack to reality. But, uh, let's see. They might be singing about, let's see, Sweet Child of Mine, and, like, uh, go ahead. So, but, the, but the, they, they kind of, like, take over where Poison left off, right? Then, let's see, then, all of a sudden, Nirvana comes out, right? And you have Kurt Cobain. All right. Now Kurt Cobain is singing about stuff that that deals with the same things that that John Lennon was singing about, except it's ten years later, and uh, he's experiencing different things. He's singing about how everyone is gay, and he's singing about like seemingly just nothing about nonsense, uh, and like the media paints him as some sort of like Generation X moron or some loser who's just like singing about like his burrito or like uh you know like uh angst teen angst right <clears throat> anyway so like uh he's singing about stuff and he's angst ridden right he's an angst ridden generation x loser right but but he's uh and and he's just singing about nonsense right now now the thing what happens though is that he becomes like the the new John Lennon or Elvis, right? The new like messenger, right? He becomes like number one essentially, right? He's he's on the cover of all the mag he's on the covers of all the magazines and like uh you know he's out there and like uh you know he's it. He's he's like the the leader of a generation, right? And uh my guess is he went from like smoking weed to like shooting heroin to dead, all right? Once again, Binky Binky and Clyde show up and get him to kill himself, right? So Cobain dies, joins the uh, the spirit world and the dream world, and like becomes kind of somebody. He, he becomes part of the uh, the war or the conflicts, right? So like Cobain dies in 1994. Um, I call it 1994 because I knew it as 1994. So after Cobain dies, it's just kind of up in the air. Who who's going to be it now, right? Nothing until about 1996, right? And who shows up? Fiona Apple, right? 
Now Fiona Apple shows up, and she's she's singing about fucking everything. She's like, uh, you know, uh, she's singing about like uh, dreams and like she, how she doesn't sleep to dream, implying that the control world is a dream world. And uh, she's singing about, uh, you know, she's singing about all sorts of shit. Like she's uh, she's singing. Uh, what is she singing about? She sings about. Uh, by the time her second album is released in 1999, she's singing about shit that nobody is fucking singing about. I let the beast in too soon. I don't know how to live without my hands on his throat. She's singing about how she most she most likely got stoned at age 12, right? Stoned at 12, and then she just keeps going, right? Most likely, uh you know, doing other stuff to, like, stay even, and, like, uh, you know, she, she survives and makes it to, uh, you know, age fucking 20, she's, like, 23? 22. Fiona Apple records When the Pawn Hits the Conflicts at age 22. Ridiculous, right? So she's pretty much it in 1999, and is singing about all of the shit that she knows about, which is just about everything, right? And so, like, in 1999, what am I doing? I'm working at a video store, and I haven't smoked weed at all, other than one time in high school, and it didn't do anything, right? Wow. Yeah. Anyway. So, like... So, like, uh... What happens is, is nothing happens after that, right? Her, like, her second album... Like, the, the album title is all about, like, everything, right? When the pawn hits the conflicts, he thinks like a king. What he knows throws the blows before he enters the fight. It goes on. I don't have it memorized all the way, but, like, uh... But it's basically, like, hey... Like, she's basically saying, with that album title, she's saying that she knows that there's somebody out there that's going to win everything. Like, somebody who hasn't even started doing drugs, but, like, because of the type of person that he is, and because of how he's... Uh, because of what he's able to do, as soon as he enters into the world of, like, drugs and, like, spirits and, like, uh, dreams, he's going to win it all, right? She doesn't know who this guy is, but she knows that there is somebody out there like that, right? And so, um, what happens is, in 1999, American Beauty is released, Right? Now, American Beauty, um, American Beauty presents marijuana in a very positive light. Um, let's get rid of that for now. So, 1999, American Beauty is released, and like, uh, you know, this is the worst pot leaf I've ever drawn. But like, but. Uh, Weed is good, right? It, it presents weed in a very positive manner. Um, and so I start doing drugs. I start, or rather, I start dating. I start dating a girl that does drugs because I don't think that it's like the dumbest thing in the universe anymore, right? And so, like, uh, uh, let's see, 2001 rolls around, and I'm growing the stuff by then because it's supposed to be extremely difficult, and I love a challenge, and I, it's like a it's something akin to like building model airplanes, which I which I also like to do. So like, or which I also used to like to do. So like, I start growing drugs. Now like, uh, by the summer of two thousand and one, uh, I've tried it a few times. And on uh, let's see, June eighth, two thousand and one, I get stoned. So, I don't have quite such a, I don't have that, uh, that severe a chin, but like, uh, let's do this. So I get stoned at 24. 